Hey, hey guys, Odie here. Welcome to part 13 of Novena Diablos. You know what we do? Let's just get right back into it. Retrieving our save point as usual. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Having finished dinner, I return to my room. Whew. As always, my first order of business is cozying up under my blanket. This is the only moment of the day where I can catch my breath. It's important to give oneself a break every now and then. Everything about this place sucks. I lament and audibly vent my frustration into my blanket. While laying down, a face pops up in mind. That is of her, who I've met here in Hope Hill. Huh? I wonder why I'm thinking of her specifically. Is it because I think she's the human? Or is it just a sign of me having grown attached to her? Are you thinking of Nari or Sumi? Hmm. Come think of it, there's been a third murder. I'm sure that considering the circumstances, I could, appear, I could appear suspicious in their eyes as well. It's important to figure out who the human is. But building trust with that person is paramount to my survival. I stand up. I spend the rest of the evening with her. Alright, let's say hi to Sumi. What's the trust? Oh, you trust me too much, Nari. I don't... I know we got that connection and everything, but... Alright, Sumi. Okay, I just go see Sumi. I arrive at Sumi's room. I figure she'll be in there instead of the abandoned school. I hold my breath for a moment and listen closely. And I can't hear any sound coming from behind the door. Hey, Sumi. Are you in there? Even after knocking on the door, there's no answer. Seems like Sumi really isn't here. Maybe she... Yes, that has to be it. The spot where I last encountered Sumi. That's where Jensuk's house is. I head for the abandoned village. Sumi must have gone there. I arrive at the abandoned village. Having been there before, it's easy for me to find Jensuk's house. I can't be sure, but perhaps that's where I'll find Sumi. I never sleep make my way to Jensuk's house while constantly I have to remind my stiff legs to move. Sumi is there. Somewhat unexpectedly, to say the least. Her entire body is transparent. What? Jansung Park. You're on your body? Upon seeing my dumbfounded expression, Sumi looks down at her own body. Judging from her reaction, she seems to be aware of the fact that she's transparent right now. <laughs> Sumi. You must have a lot of questions. Sumi says what's on my mind before I can. I slowly nod. I'll answer all of them. The look on her face says she might... she That makes it seem like she's letting go of something she's held on to for a long time. Though I'm puzzled by this sudden change in behavior. I can see that this is my chance to get answers to the many questions I've accumulated so far. I look at Sumi and carefully think about my choice of words. How did you die? You're already dead. I mean, you said you're a ghost or something, right? Yes, more accurately, I am an earthbound. A spirit of the past who cannot yet leave this land. How, how did you die? I don't remember, probably an accident. Maybe I fell while up on the mountain, or maybe I drowned. Listening to Sumi calmly theorize about the way she died is weird. Making it hard for me to know how to react. Do I try to comfort her? Or rather, keep my mouth shut? I slowly open my mouth, still unsure of what I'm actually going to say. So, you seem to be fully aware that your body is transparent, right? Eagle? Oh, this? Of course. This is only natural. Only natural? I don't, I don't get it. Can you help me understand? I am earthbound. A, a spirit intrinsically tied to one place. I cannot actually have a body like this. And yet one day, this body suddenly appeared. So the body was just there? I don't know. I guess. But one day, out of nowhere, I found myself in this one. 
Physical body, born of nothing. I wonder if this is somehow connected to the ritual that I've unwilling to become a part of, but it's too early to jump to conclusions. With a body, I suddenly felt things like hunger, sickness, and tiredness again. The same sensations as when I was alive. I was no longer used to what moving in a body felt like, so I often hurt myself without realizing it. This explains why Sumi often said she had trouble moving or as she felt weak. I thought she sounded like a senior citizen back then. Though in a sense, I guess it doesn't get much more senior than an actual ghost. But still, it felt great to have a body. Experiencing... Experiencing solid ground beneath my feet felt so amazing that I immediately tried to get out of here. But even with a body, it would seem I remain bound to this place. You can't leave? The thick... the thick fog always leads back to the village. I tried multiple times, but to no avail. Sumi's words make me think. I also remember wandering around in the fog. It's not because Sumi is bound here for eternity, but because the rules of the ritual set by the devil. However, that's not something I can tell Sumi about right now. I thought it was because of the lingering evil. That I can't get out of here because there's something I have yet to accomplish. But but the more I think about it, the less likely that seems. I was granted a chance. I was granted a chance. A chance to reclaim my forgotten memories of the past. Now that, now that it's all concluded, it's only natural for this body to fade away into nothingness once more. So, you think all this gave you an opportunity to make things right? Yeah. Yes, but I couldn't do it. How so? I accomplished nothing. All I did was die. I, I couldn't save Junsuk. I couldn't even drive out the evil. There's no reason for me to stay bound to this place anymore. So I will shed this body and forever float through the memories of when things were right. I like the thought of that. Leaving this, Leaving this cursed village behind is enough for me. Sumi appears to have turned slightly more transparent than before. It's as if she's about to disappear at any moment now. I have to keep talking. I tilt my head to the side and ask another question. Exorcism? Why is she so obsessed? You were so obsessed with exorcism. How come? Especially considering, well, you know, the fact that you're dead. I, I, I find it hard to explain. It must have been some sort of deeply rooted instinct. Instinct? When a person dies, what's left is their most powerful memory before death. I will try to explain. An otherwise good person who dies while plagued by bad thoughts and hatred can be turned into a horrible ghost. Whereas, a villain who is plagued by regret for all he has done in life can become a kind guardian spirit. In my case, the only thing on my mind when I died was to drive out the evil plaguing our village. You've been doing this all this time without knowing why? For decades? There's no need for you to be sad or for you to pity me. That's just what death is. Yeah. 
It's the most common way for humans to leave this world, and one day you will experience it too. At a glance, Sumi's smile seems to be one of perfect harmony and peace. No more regrets, no more hopes, like she doesn't want for anything anymore. But there's something else I have to ask her. Jensuk Park. Jensuk Park. That's the name of a precious friend to you, right? <laughs> yes, a friend I swore I'd never forget. And yet, I did. I never wanted to be a shaman. But when Jensuk got sick, I was willing to do everything in my power to help. If I could become a shaman and find a cure for that strange disease, we would be able to spend time together, just like before. That's why I wanted to be a shaman and drive out the evil. So much so that I forgot the most important thing of all. Sumi. I didn't know that Jensuk was dead. Because I died before Jensuk. I... I didn't accomplish anything. Hearing Sumi's bitter words breaks my heart. I can't fathom why two childhood friends would be made to endure such a horribly cruel fate. I look away for a moment and suppress the sadness dwelling up from within me. I'll ask her another question. I think about whatever what other questions I have. There are none. Is that everything you wanted to know? If so, there's nothing more left to say. Can I ask you one last question? Yes. Do you... Do you really have no lingering feelings, regrets, doubts? You, you've heard it all. What more is there? I was unable to save my dearest friend. I had not even know Jensuk was dead. There is nothing more in this world that matters to me. Would you like to see Jensuk? I speak without really thinking about it first. My mouth just moves out of nowhere. Saying the thought that suddenly crosses my mind out loud. Oh. Huh? I've been thinking about this. Don't you think that Junsuk misses you too? Decades have passed, but I have no doubt Junsuk is definitely waiting for you somewhere. I don't know what you mean. Junsuk is dead though. How could someone dead possibly be waiting for me? Probably at the grave? I'm still new to all this supernatural stuff, so I'm very cautious about, cautious about what I say. However, it's commonly believed that the spirits of the dead linger at the gravesite. People talk to them as if, as if they're still there. Gratefully, carefully trim the plants and make food offerings. I used to shrug my shoulders at these gestures, but with everything that's been going on around here, I'd say there's one place where Junsuk's spirit waits. It's without a doubt at the gravesite. Even if Junsuk's spirit turns out to not be there, shouldn't we at least take a look at the final resting place? If we don't, can you truly claim to be free of any lingering feelings? That's... Jensuk's family has left this place behind a long time ago. I have to believe that the burial ground is somewhere away from here. Nobody would bury their child in the cursed village responsible for so many deaths. That means Jensuk's grave will be somewhere away from here too. Outside. So let's get out of here. But... I cannot leave this place. There has to be a way for both of us to escape together. I promise I'll find it. I hold Sumi's transparent hand. Her fan, her hand feels tender and icy cold. I squeeze her hand a little tighter, worried at the thought of her suddenly disappearing completely. I am a spirit, nothing physical. I can't get out of here. There's nothing you can do. You don't know anything about this. That's not true. You're clearly still here. You have a body that makes you human in my eyes now. 
You're absolutely right. I don't know anything about spirits, but I know more about humans than you for obvious reasons. Wouldn't you agree? You know, humans? You mean because you work with television? Um... Um, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Working on News Trace TV program taught me a lot about humans, that's what I meant. Wow, is that so? Yeah, that's totally the case. I'll find a way out of here. We'll visit Junsuk's grave together. You'll really help lead me outside? I can see Junsuk again? I look at Tsumi who looks at me like she's about to cry at any moment. I tighten my grip around her hand even more. For a moment, I can suddenly feel warmth pulsing through her previously cold hand. Back to the motel, I lead Sumi to her room and return to mine. Geez, sorry about that. Wind was so crazy outside. That's something else. All right. Whew. Sumi asked me to find a way out of here, but I already know the trick to escaping. On the ninth day, a man and woman can leave Hope Hill Village together. All I have to do is wait for the right moment to leave together with Sumi. I just have to find out if she's really human. Actually, scratch that. She's not really human in the first place. Sumi comes to be a spirit of the Earthbound variety, and I was told Sumi could potentially be a witch. So in the end, the real question is, is Sumi an Earthbound spirit, or actually a witch? I get up and look at the hand that I held uh, Sumi's hand with earlier. I can still feel remnants of the warmth that had previously returned to her previously icy skin. I clench my fist. I'll find evidence that proves Sumi's not a witch. There's still work to do. All right, guys, that was part 13 of Novena Diablos. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, wow, so uh, she's actually a ghost. That's uh, pretty crazy. If you guys want to find out more, get ahead of me or talk to any of the other people, get to know them. Link in the description below. Go support the creators. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see ya.